Hey guys, what's up? This is Matthew Davis Media once again. Welcome back to another episode of Chat with Matt. And I know it's been a while since I've done Chat with Matt. It's just, uh, you know, things. But uh, anyways, um, I swore I was going to do one this week and I'm finally going to be able to. And I thought, why not? why not let it be my birthday eve? Because tomorrow will officially be my 18th birthday. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening with me. And um, I'll be able to show it to you guys. Um, um, but first off, uh, let me talk about some topics. So, about a week or two ago, um, Burt Reynolds, um, a very popular comedic uh, actor, has recently passed away. Now, I don't remember seeing any of his movies. Some of them are supposed to be good. Some of them aren't really that much. But what I've known is that he was a really good man. And um, even though I haven't seen any of his movies, um, may he rest in peace. Because I know he was beloved by many. So, um, you know, it's one of those things where it's like a big named actor just disappears. Well, passes away, like, too soon. Like, it's just super upsetting, and that's something that I really wanted to say. Okay, anyways, um, tomorrow I'll be seeing uh, The House with the Clock in Its Wall. Here's the thing, though. I did not know this until, like, a couple, like, three weeks ago. The director of this movie is Eli Roth. Yeah, the Eli Roth. That's right, the same Eli Roth. The director of Cabin Fever, uh, the new Death Wish movie, which I didn't like, uh, Hostel, which I also which I also don't like, uh, the Green Inferno. Uh, basically, they're all those that I just mentioned are R hard hard R rated action slash horror films. But Eli, La but Eli Roth is taking on a kids' movie now. Like, oh my god, I can't believe he's actually too. <laughs> like, we'll we'll see what happens. Um, um, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to it, but um, I'm 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 wondering to see what he'll do with this. I'm I'm going to be seeing it tomorrow, and um, but before that, we're going to be going to Olive Garden for lunch, which is, yeah, you know, I. For the past few birthdays, mainly what we go, we mainly go to Olive Garden, sometimes for lunch, sometimes for dinner. It was mostly for dinner, but uh, um, I got I got to get back home like really early uh, tomorrow because um, uh, for the past week or for the next week, um, I'm going to be, well, the first three days I'm going to be in Oregon and the next I'm going to be in California. Um, because mainly we're going to Oregon because, uh, it's going to be my aunt's wedding. And, uh, so, so mom, my mom planned a little vacation for us. Well, big vacation because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. We're not just going to be there just to hang around. We're going to be seeing big things and I'm really excited. And luckily, um, now that I got my new editing software, I don't have to do it all in one take because I want to show you guys. Uh, the places that I'd be going to, kind of like my New York video I uploaded in 2015, and um, I'm going to be basically doing a series, like, I'll post a video each day on my vacation uh, to show you guys um, some uh, where I'm going to be going. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of things. Um, we're going to be, like, uh, um, now I don't want to say exactly what we're doing because I'm not sure if it's going to be 100%. But uh, we are definitely going because, you know, the storm has passed. Uh, there was a storm over here, which was really bad. Luckily, it's gone now. Uh, uh, it stopped on Monday. So luckily, it won't be able to ruin our vacation because this is something that my mom has been playing on uh, really uh, for a few months now. And uh, she and because... It's about that time because we rarely ever get a vacation and it's going to be super exciting exciting cuz yeah, I cannot wait to go there. Also, <laughs> this should come to no surprise. Um um I might I might see a movie that week. I can't guarantee it though. Um cuz um there is a movie that I want to see. I think it's called Assassination Nation. 
I know that title sounds pretty redundant, but uh, I don't know. It's a slasher horror film, and, you know, sometimes I enjoy those, sometimes I don't, but I don't know. It's, or I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll see it when, um, when I get back to, uh, back to where I live, uh, because pretty much uh, my mom doesn't like that stuff. And since it's going to be our first time in California, she doesn't know, like, okay, well, anyways, I'll probably see that, um, when I get back. Um, as for other stuff, you know, it's been a month, I could have sworn there was more stuff that I wanted to talk about. I mean, the main things that I talked about were the movies that I saw, and, um, it's certainly, okay, uh... I guess I can talk about the early movie buzz. Oh yeah, something I want to talk about is the new movie coming out, First Man. I am really looking forward to that film. But here's the thing, I've it's gained some controversy from audiences. And I think, in my opinion, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Because from what I heard, um, when they land on the move, um, they didn't like stick the American flag on the moon, from what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's because, I don't know if that will cause, if it's basically con causing dishonor for our country or whatever, but honestly, I think that is a stupid reason to not look forward to a film. Like, really, it's, I mean, c come on, if, if you're gonna hate, you're gonna hate just for that one reason, doesn't the movie look... What you're gonna say? The movie looks ugly now. I th the the movie looks to me okay. So you know what? You know what? They can criticize all they want, but I'm still really excited for it. I'm gonna see it either way because one thing, Ryan Gosling, um, he's never had a bad performance in a movie in his life, and two, it's Damien Chazelle, director of Whiplash and La La Land. And, um, no, and, um, the fact that he's going into a more, I wouldn't really say science fiction, I kind of would, into a more, like, I guess sci-fi film, something that doesn't have to do with choreography or music or performing. I mean, th those were great. Um, those films I mentioned were great, but it's great to, s for him to do something that, uh, that, um, is different. I can't really talk about more of it since the movie hasn't come out yet, but I'm I'm totally seeing that. That's one of my most anticipated films for the rest of the year, as well as the new Halloween film. Um, I really want. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, that is also that's from the director of last year's uh, Stronger, which I thought was amazing, and I heard from the buzz that it's supposed to be a lot better. And finally going to please most of the Halloween fans. I really hope it lives up to the hype. I'm really looking forward to it. It might be this year's It. Who knows? Um, but basically, um, yeah, that's that's the main stuff I wanted to talk about. So um, it's great that I got to do another video because the last one I did, I think it was when I showed my, my new cats. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring that out there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next time you see me, I'm going to be an adult. My, my appearance probably isn't going to change or anything like that. Maybe when I shave, I, I, I need to shave again. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you... I almost forgot my words there for a second. Um, I'll probably review um, House with a Clock in its Wall um, tomorrow, like, tomorrow night, maybe. Um... I don't know, maybe an update video on stuff that I get for my birthday, I don't know. But I'll definitely have my review for a house with a clock in its wall before I leave to California and Oregon, because I'm really excited, and I cannot wait to share it with you. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.